Good morning. Tim Norman, General Manager, Ovation, Sienna Hills, here in Southern Utah. On behalf of the entire Ovation and Avamir team, I'd like to first thank all of our veterans for their service. You are honored and privileged by everything that you've done for us, for us to be a part of this wonderful country. In addition to that, our mission every day is to enhance the lives of those we serve. Today, unfortunately, to enhance your life, we're having to do this event virtually. We were hoping to do it live and in person with several of you, and we greatly appreciate your being willing to log in either on Facebook or online and join us today. We are excited to present to you a detailed information on all of our culinary events and what makes Ovation unique and special in our industry. With that, I'm going to turn things over to our corporate chef, Robert Campbell. Thanks, Tim. How, how is everybody today? You know, I can't tell you how excited I am about being here and talking to you about our dining venues. You know, we, what we've done and what we've put together, I think you'll find extremely exciting. Our restaurants within Sienna Hills are going to be a dining pleasure every single night. And as we went through developing the menus, we really looked hard at, at what was around St. George and what we could bring to enhance the, the living at Sienna Hills. What I want to do today is kind of walk through all the dining venues, explain a little bit about what they are and how we develop the menus and the concept behind that. And I think that on your day-to-day -day life in Sienna Hills, you'll find that there's so much variety that we will definitely achieve making every meal an exceptional experience. So I want to first start off with one of my favorites. That's Bee's Knees Cafe. And the Bee's Knees Cafe really came from the love of bees. And I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Utah has one of the largest population of, of honey bees. And so when we looked at creating Bee's Knees, we really want to encompass that. Um, and what we've done, what we'll be providing there for you is some awesome craft coffee. Uh, we'll have some really nice confections from chocolates to, to bars to fresh baked items. But the really neat thing is how we've integrated that local honey here in Utah. Uh, we will also be providing uh, gourmet sandwiches and some really nice salads. But the signature item for Bee's Knees is what we're calling the Bee's Knees Minis. And these are going to be handmade to order donuts that we're going to have on this awesome tower. And what we're doing is drizzling the local honey on top and we're going to dust it with a little powdered sugar. Uh, you'll find with a nice cup of coffee in the morning or a nice treat in the afternoon with grandkids, you'll find a, a fresh made donut with local honey. There's nothing really better than that. The next venue we're going to talk about is Miller's. And Miller's is our casual dining uh, restaurant. What we have in Miller's, you will see, find is a hearth oven when you walk into the dining room. And we really made that hearth oven the centerpiece of the dining experience. We'll be offering fresh made pizzas and flatbreads. We'll be offering hand carved roasted meats along with daily pasta specials and seafood specials. But what I'm really excited about Miller's is our signature items there. Uh, most of you have had a, a pot pie, but have you ever had a pizza pot pie? Uh, really unique and this is how we'll be serving that in Miller's. The inside we is covered with dough, surrounded with dough inside there's cheese and marinara pasta, marinara sauce and any toppings from pepperoni to sausage uh, to veggies. And what's so fun about that is it eats just like a pot pie. You know, it always, you know, when you look at comfort foods and, and pot pies and those things, it really speaks to our inner child. And no matter how old we are, we're still a child at heart. And to really top off that dining experience will be our OMC. And OMC stands for Oatmeal, Macadamia Nut, and Chocolate Chip. And when you order this at Miller's, this will be baked to order, coming out nice and hot. We're going to have a French vanilla ice cream on top chocolate ganache and caramel chips and we'll have this offered in two different sizes this is what would be for one person but we have another dish that's a little larger and we'll be able to shareable so really fun fun for the the kid and all of us but really special for the grandkids and the family members that come to visit i think you really enjoy these items hey chef we have a question real quick sure. what are you most excited about for the opening of ovation oh you know the ovations in the opening, it's been a, a long process of developing the menu items and, and the, the venues and the concepts behind that. 
but I really think you'll find that with the, the, the excitement around it is providing so many different varieties and different dining venues. So you have all that dining experience under one roof. We're looking at having two, two restaurants, a cafe, um, and a bar lounge. So under one roof, you'll have all this dining experience and not have to leave. You'll have the, the greatest thing under one roof. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much. And then, Chef, we have some folks, you know, as you know, we have folks right now who are watching on Zoom and on Facebook Live. And if you could just hold up the food a little higher for oh. those folks on Facebook Live. Absolutely. That would be beautiful. There you go. This Thank is the, you. the pizza pot pie. Really nice looking. Really, really delicious. Really fun to eat. We also have another question. Sure. Will you have a full menu so that residents can choose that residents can choose from, or do they have to eat the same food every day? Oh, absolutely not. Each dining venue has its own unique menu, and it changes with the seasons and, and with with what's going on. So there is no set menu throughout the whole community. Each venue is unique to its concept and unique to what we offer. So the variety there is unbelievable. All right, cool. We're going to said. The next venue we're going to talk about is truly one of my, my favorites. And that venue is 1861. And 1861, the name derives from the year that St. George was settled. And what we have at 1861 is a unique fine dining restaurant. We will offer grass-fed steaks, local. We'll be offering some gourmet salads, pastas, fresh seafood, appetizers that rival any restaurant. It's really a, that, that nice, comfortable, fine dining setting um, that you'll be able to relax, have a glass of wine, and really enjoy yourselves. But what I'm really excited about 1861 is something that is not offered anywhere in St. George, and that's gonna be a shareable signature item. And that is going to be beef shank, grass-fed local, uh, beef shank that's about five pounds. So if you think if you're dining in the, in the, in the venue, it's a shareable item. So that will be presented table side. Well, we will offer that to, as a, a shareable piece for all the folks in the table to dine on. So I'm gonna try to lift this up so everybody can see it on Facebook Live. So if you can see this, this is something that we will bring out to the table. We will actually, when it comes table side, we will actually pour bourbon on top of it and it'll be flamed and it brings a unique sweetness to the outside layer of the shank and the server will be trained on how to disassemble the shank table side and we'll provide it family style on this nice plate here along with the sides you'll see at 1861 the sides are shareable sides so when you sit and join and dine with us we'll be able to, to enjoy the different side dishes and pass it around the table so it really enhances the dining experience and, and brings a little that comfort of home you know, when we're at home eating, we, we prepare the food and the family sits down and, and enjoys it together. Um, and I think that you'll really enjoy that experience. So, Chef, that's really unique. And we actually have another question. Sure. How are Ovation's restaurants going to change the dining landscape here in Southern Utah? Oh, the, the process of designing these venues and how we compiled the menu items, it was a lot of research. We really looked into the restaurants in, in St. George and we wanted to provide something that was unique, different than you'll find anywhere in the city. And you'll find that our menus really bring a different flavor to, 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 the, to, to the town. And you'll find unique dining experiences that you will not find anywhere in St. George. And then we have one other question from Jane. Jane is wondering, Chef, what is your background before coming to Ovation? Oh, my background. Well, I'll tell you my background. I have 30 plus years in the food service industry. Um, I've started as a dishwasher at age 14, but before that I learned how to cook from my grandmother. Every good chef learned how to cook from their grandma. And I'll tell you, my grandmother inspired my heart to, to follow this profession, and I've not stopped since. I've worked in restaurants, at country clubs. One country club you might know in particular was Augusta Nationals, uh, Augusta Country Club. I worked there for a few years and um, came to senior living about 15 years ago um, and really enjoy working with seniors and I really find that the food is just so much fun. Uh, so yeah, I, I've had quite the experience, I would say. Hey, good. All right. Yep. There you go. And the last venue I want to talk about is Lorraine's. 
So Lorraine's was established with our founder's mother. His mother's name is Lorraine, and she loved to cook. And one of the, her favorite recipes that she made for her family was her tuna noodle casserole. So you'll find at Lorraine's, the cuisine there is American classic comfort food. So when we dine there, you're gonna see such thing as roasted Brussels sprouts, tuna noodle casserole, we'll have lasagnas and meatloafs and all those great things that Americans love to eat. Um, and it's really gonna be a unique dining experience. The other thing that, that Lorraine's will have is her award-winning seasonal cobblers. So every season will change the flavor of cobbler, uh, providing you know, the seasonality with the fruit and really, really, really ending nice to your dinner. It's very good. Yeah. And Chef, we have two questions that have come right. in. They're both very similar, um, but the first, I guess I'll say, what menu items are you most excited to share with Ovation residents? And do you have a favorite dish? Oh, I'll tell you, I have, a, I have a couple of favorites for the Ovation menu. And obviously the pizza pot pie was a really fun thing to make. You know, we all, again, speaking to the child at heart um, and really looking at, the, you know, what can we can do? It's a little different, a little different dining venue. And uh, true to my heart as a chef, the braised beef shank, that is something unique. You're not going to find that anywhere in, in my 30 years or 15 years in senior living. I have not seen this anywhere. And it's definitely not offered anywhere in St. George. And you want to talk about a flavorful braised piece of meat. That bourbon, melt, the, you, the alcohol burns off and leaves a nice sweet flavor to it. It's really, really exciting. Personally, uh, my favorite thing to make and eat is my grandmother's spaghetti sauce, or she would call gravy. You know, whenever I feel blue or look for a pick-me-up or I want to feel my grandmother, I make that sauce, and it really brings back home my childhood, my taste memories, and makes all the bad, all the problems go away. So. And Chef Elizabeth has asked you, will you be serving lattes and espresso drinks? Is it Starbucks coffee? Oh, at Bees Knees. Bees Knees, the craft coffee I was speaking to is going to be Starbucks. And we will have frappuccinos, lattes, cappuccinos, have full barista capabilities to make those gourmet coffees. You're going to really love that nice cup of coffee with a nice warm donut. It's really going to make, start your day off on the right foot. We have a lot of wonderful questions coming in. Great. Thank you so much for your questions. Keep them coming. Uh, are you standing in an actual kitchen, Chef? And will I be able to cook if I don't want to go out for all of my meals? Absolutely. I'm actually standing in one of the villas at uh, Siena Hills. And full kitchen, uh, I actually spent a lot of time over the last couple of days using the, the oven. I'll tell you, it works fantastic. Uh, nice, the kitchen is amazing. Um, and absolutely, you'll have the full access to be able to continue to cook and make all those great things. Um, and I love family recipes. So if you have something unique and you think I'd really enjoy, it, I'd love to come over and give me a lesson. And then chef, can you speak to your process of creating the menus? How did you go about it? What was the most exciting or challenging part of that process and experience? Absolutely. You know, as we, as, as we design menus as chefs and we, we, we really want to start off with items that we, we know are going to be popular, we do a lot of research. We do a, little, a lot of market research in the area. We look at what popular restaurants are, are here and what's being offered. So we really want to make sure that we're bringing the dishes and the flavors of the folks that live here and what they want to eat. So we, we do take a lot of time and a lot of energy looking and focusing on that um, to make sure that that dining venue is unique, but also ties in the local flavors. Uh, the most challenging but fun part was creating the signature items. You know, when we talk about restaurants and, and, and who they are and what they're about, you know, that signature item really makes a statement for who that, what that venue is and the style of service and the style of food you're going to have. So, you know, as we look at signature items, it's really important to really find that niche, find that special thing that's really going to make you happy when you come in to eat. Thank you, Chef. And I am going to give a final call for additional questions. And as I'm waiting for any additional questions to come in, is there anything else that you'd like to add about Ovation opening, your offerings in these restaurants, why it's so special to you personally, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, as you can tell by my kind of my excitement when I talk, I, I love food, I love restaurants, and I love what we've put together for Siena Hills. You know, as we look to the road with the menus, the menus for all these venues uh, will have some seasonality fluctuations with ingredients. You know, as the seasons change, um, as fall and winter, spring come and come around, we're going to be making some adjustments with maybe the fruits on the salads or the, the ingredients within a pasta. 
So the variety and the, the creativity with the menus will continue to evolve. You know, so as you come and join us and live with us at, at Sienna Hills, you're going to find that the, the menus will update. They will adjust to what we're doing, what's popular, what the folks are looking to eat. So it's a really fun experience uh, as we move forward together. Um, and I think that you'll find that all the dining venues with the variety of food that we have in each one of them will create an experience that no other will. No. Awesome. So we have a few other questions that have come in. Thank sure. you so much. So are the restaurants set up for social distancing? And if folks, if our residents would like, can they set it up, grab takeout and take it back to their residents? Absolutely. The, a couple of the steps we're going to look at as far as social distancing um, is looking at reservations. Uh, potentially having reservation systems so we can make sure the flow of folks coming into our dining menus are spaced out adequately. You know, as we look at the, 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 the occupancy of the dining rooms, we obviously will not be able to fill it uh, during this, these times, but we're going to use the reservation systems uh, system to allow us to be able to have folks come in and dine with us uh, and be able to keep that distance. And as always, our menus and all our venues will be able to be able to package and you'll be able to take back to your home and enjoy. So absolutely. Wonderful. And Elizabeth is asking, how will you train all of your team members? Are they chefs? Oh, absolutely. So underneath me, we have an executive chef who will be really the, the orchestrator, or, or orchestra, running the orchestra behind the kitchen. And what we do as, as we open is we will hire very skilled cooks. And we have our executive chef who will work side by side with the cooks, training them on our standards, the philosophies behind we, we cook. And that's the biggest thing as chefs. We, we have recipes, we have ways of cooking, but really understanding the philosophy on how we make it. I was speaking to my grandmother's you know, spaghetti sauce or gravy recipe. The ingredients are the same, but if you don't follow the same steps and the same timing, the dish always turns out a little different. So that's something we focus on when we're training our cooks and our staff to make sure they're paying attention to that little detail and that little step that needs to be taken to make sure that dish always comes out consistently and tasting really, really good. Awesome. And Bill is asking, do I have to bring cash if I live there? And what if, you know, any of our residents have special diets? How do you accommodate that? Absolutely. Just like any restaurant, we'll have the same system to be able to, to take any kind of uh, currency from credit card to uh, cash. And also the point system where we'll be able to use your name and your account to be able to, to charge and just subtract from that as well. I'm sorry. What was the other question, Emily? Do, with cash, so payment. Sure. Um, can you talk a little bit, speak to that at all? It's going to be just like going and dining in any other restaurant. It's going to be no different. Um, no, nothing new, nothing special. It's, we want to make it uh, seamless and effortless in the process. And just like you're going out to eat. Uh, it's really what we want, we're want. we looking to achieve. Amazing. And so we just have a couple left. First, are you, Elizabeth is asking, are you going to be having a liquor license? We will. We will not only have a liquor license available for our independent living uh, dining venues, but we also have that for assisted living as well, which is really, really fun. Have that nice little glass of wine with a tuna casserole. You can't beat that, can you? Wonderful. And then we have a couple of different fo folks asking the same thing. If you can review the number of restaurants and the hours things will be open and then just show us those wonderful dishes one more time. Sure. The, the, the venues will be, uh, the venues will be ours. Will, the Lorraine's uh, will be obviously available uh, all day long. It will it'll be open dining. Um, Bees Knees will be a, definitely a coffee into lunch uh, 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 dining destination. Um, and then 1861 is going to be one of those special dining rooms. It, will not, it won't be open every night of the week, but we'll be opening it, I think, three or four times a week, reservations. Um, so really making it that special dining venue. And Miller's, Miller's is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be open majority of lunch and dinner um, with some breakfast. So we'll be able to have, if you choose to have a heavy meal at lunchtime and you want to come at lunch and have a pizza pot pie or you know, have an OMC Sunday, you'll be able to do that at lunch as well as dinner. And to talk to the, the diets and um, the, the things that we provide, we, we, I don't believe in cooking with a whole lot of salt. I believe that flavor comes from food. Um, I do believe that salt will be, I do believe in salt to just round the dish off. So there will not be a tremendous amount of salt in anything we do. We will have, our menus will have a ton of variety from gluten-free to vegeta vegetarian. Um, we even will 
play a little bit with spa cuisine, uh, which is really, really unique and fun. Having something that's completely healthy, but tastes like it's not. And this is where we play a little mind game with you, thinking you're eating something that tastes so good, but it's really, really healthy for you. Yeah. Amazing. And we have one other question before you show us some of those dishes one more time. Uh, the, the last question is, can you speak to a little bit about the dining experience in our assisted living and our memory care building? That's Ovation South. Yeah. Speak to how that's going to look, how that's going to work, and what makes it different. Oh, in that dining venue, obviously being open uh, from breakfast to dinner, we, will, we have an open kitchen concept there where we have a, a chef cooking everything to order. So when you come into our assisted living or come into our memory care dining room, nothing will be sitting. Everything will be prepared to order. Um, you will be able to make adjustments to the menu that you, if you'd like to. Uh, and it's really going to be, be able to provide you that experience uh, up there as well. It's really, really fun and really enjoyable. Amazing. So yes, if we could just see those dishes one more time. Absolutely. And... I'll start with the tuna noodle casserole that's going to be at Lorraine's. I see it here. Whoop. A little slide on me there. There we go. Right there, right here. That was our tuna noodle casserole at Lorraine's. This is, again, one of my favorite, the pizza pot pie. Very, very good. You'll really enjoy this one. And then we have the OMC cookie. Really, chocolate ganache, French vanilla ice cream, oatmeal, chocolate chip, and macabre, maybe a nut cookie. Uh, all the flavors you could possibly want. And the one here, I'm gonna hold it up, and I'll absolutely, the beef shank. What a treat. Oh, unbelievable. You're gonna really enjoy this when you come in and dine with us. Phenomenal dish. And then along with the, our sides here, oh, there we go. Again, we have roasted potatoes and asparagus here. So these how the sides will come out in 1861. Shareable sides. We're going to have awesome sides like mac and cheese, scalloped potatoes, all kinds of great tasty dishes coming out from there. Amazing. Thank you so much, Chef, and your team for being here. It's been a pleasure to host you. And folks, if you have any other questions, feel free to message us or reach out to one of our team members if you have any questions about our culinary experience. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.